Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday after the election Tuesday here. Most important chart is fixed income, looks like. Um, breaking out here in the 10-year yields. Be better if this was in the U.S. session, but here we are. We've sort of gap opened. You can see on the yield side, we've gapped open and we're through 100. This becomes more interesting once this gets through 176. This is the long bond. Um, 177. Um, this has a lot of implications that complicate a lot of things. If yields shoot higher, uh, this could affect FX, this could affect stocks. This could affect a lot of things, uh, and so we have to really decide whether yield higher is a lack of faith uh, in the U.S. instruments, or it is inflationary pressure in the U.S. instruments. So we've got to kind of see what the world is thinking. We know less foreigners are buying these things. Um, we know there's a revenue problem after the pandemic. Uh, but we also know it could be supply driven inflation uh, and we also know that if the vaccine comes quickly there could be just generalized inflation as well anyway watching this space we're short some fixed income euro popped up to 27 last night then back down to 80 um, so just took out stops through 10 here we are back at 05 she looks like she's going to go higher. Uh, this is the consensus trade. It's a little bit of a worry. Um, just because every single person thinks the same thing. This dollar has to go lower. Uh, so be careful with this. This trend line could be your change in trend position. Cable's not doing much. Dollar Swiss, it's sort of a drunk euro not doing much euro swiss back above 03 after the sort of iran concerns but nothing to do in, in dollar swiss dollar yen just dicking around uh not doing a whole heck of a lot some bids at 60 yesterday held uh but or 73 so not much to say there aussie's been incredibly bid not sure what the hell's going on here uh, maybe less COVID or something, but Aussie's been very, very bid. Uh, really no idea what's driving this. We tried a little Aussie short, uh, but no love, stopped out. Uh, now we refresh and look at other things. But this Aussie and Aussie Yen, no idea what we're doing here. Uh, this makes no sense to us at all. But voila, here we are, 98 the high, uh, heading into 80 yen on Aussie yen. Wow. Um, let's look at dollar China. This could be a barometer uh, for the dollar complex in general, since this is the most offered uh, unit. So dollar China, where's your like pivot point? Let's call it six. 46.50 but really it's 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 probably back through 650 so we're a percent away from any kind of pivoty moment but this could be your canary in the coal mine if the sentiment in the dollar changes and the only way this would change is if people start getting worried about yield uh, and of course Historically, yield is one of the main drivers in FX, and it does attract capital flows. Uh, if it gets if it gets high, if it goes higher for the right reasons, that's a big caveat. You know, Turkish yields go higher, but you know that's a garbage currency. No one gives a fuck about um, 16, 17 percent when the place is like burning down. Uh, but if yields in the U.S. Say ten year goes to two two percent, two and a half percent. Um this may affect capital flows and therefore affect foreign exchange. 
Let's look at yeah, so let's look at crude. Uh crude popped above uh popped above fifty and made a new high overnight. All the news is in in crude. Um I don't know who's driving the bus. Is it crude or is it stocks? Uh but the turn back lower in crude could be through 49.72. Uh, we're not bearish crude, but we're just kind of watching this to see how she holds up around this $50. So far, it's pretty, pretty okay. We're 0405 right now, um, but we're just watching this. Stocks traded up to 34 yesterday, well through the 15 resistance, but now then back to 86. Uh, if the Republicans win, I guess stocks will will, will probably go lower. I also do believe if the uh, Democrats win, stocks are going to go lower as well. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, finally today, Bitcoin back higher. Took a little bit of a digger down to 28, but then just ramped again. Amazing. We're square Bitcoin. I'm just watching this. 36,000 the high. Um, took out all of the downside and now has made a new high. This is uh this is an unbelievable run and looks a bit bubbly, but picking tops and bubbles is, is impossible. Um we just watchers now, see if we can get some sort of interesting tactical setup. Uh but we're square Bitcoin and there she is, thirty five five. While we're on Bitcoin, I guess we should take a quick look at gold. Consolidating up here uh, yesterday, 60 basically was the high. Uh, with yields higher, gold might get hurt. Um, so you have all of these longs who, who got in first day of the year. Uh, where does this get dicey? I don't know, below 30. This shouldn't get below 1930 now, and if it does, you have to ask some questions. So, again, this could be a yield driven deal. Uh, we don't have a gold position, we don't really like the chart, not much to do there. Um, voila! Oh, yeah, dollars are what a move yesterday! Holy shit, this caught a lot of people sleeping. Um, up through 74 was the bingo. 30 big figures. A lot of cases. But I don't even know what the story is. The story is actually not even important. I mean, the story in general for South Africa is, is trouble. Um, not a super well-run uh, country. All kinds of problems. Uh, water supply problems. Uh, poverty problems. Blah, blah, blah. Political leadership problems. We could go on. Um... That is a platform to be long dollars are, so you want to buy this on any dip um, going forward. Anyway, our main focus today is uh, on this fixed income, uh, short 10s, uh, and maybe tactically short 30s, but you really want this to break uh, 176 and the yield area in the 30s, and it gets more interesting when uh, the Yanks are in. So watching fixed income today and waiting on these election results to see uh, see what happens. All right, said enough. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.